0.7.14 software includes many new features and improvements. So let's take a look. And the biggest new feature that 0.7.14 includes is support for the OSC protocol. OSC, Open Sound Control, um, is a protocol that allows you to send messages over the network. So on the console, tap the setup key, go to triggers, and you'll see in here we now have open sound control. So you can enable that and configure your network settings and the console will then be listening for OSC messages. In here, we can go and open our OSC examples dropdown and we'll see all of the various commands that the console will be listening for. So you can send the console some queue commands to trigger queues and pause queues. You can send the console playback commands to set playback levels and trigger and release playbacks. Uh, and there are also some other commands you can send as well. You can send macro messages and also grandmaster messages. Um, so it really does allow you to remotely control your console. There are various other software packages out there that you can use to send OSC messages. Uh, QLab and um, Stream Deck Companion uh, are just a couple of various other third-party software packages that can send these messages that the console can then receive. Also in 7.14, if we go to Universes, um, our DMX settings have been updated as well. So by default, you've still got your DMX ports on the rear of the console um, defaulting to DMX outputs, and both ports that you can then decide whether rig sync is enabled or disabled. Um, but as well as that, you'll notice we've got a couple of other options as well. So either of your DMX ports can be used to receive VisionNet messages. So you can connect your console directly to a VisionNet system using one of the DMX ports, um, and you can then receive those VisionNet messages to trigger queues um, or playbacks, for example. But as well as VisionNet, you can also make one of your DMX ports a DMX input. So you would just need a mail to mail adapter to allow that, and you can then send a external DMX source into your console. Once you've configured that and configured which port you want to be an input, go to the fixture schedule, and in here, you've got a new DMX in column. So you can go into the settings of a fixture add a DMX input address, and when the console receives this input address, it will then control, in my example here, fixture two's intensity. So DMX input uh, channel two will control fixture two's intensity. As well as controlling just individual fixture intensities though, if we go to triggers, in here, you'll notice if we scroll down that we have a DMX in option. So in here, we can add a playback. And now DMX address one on the DMX input will be controlling the level of our playback number one. We can go and then readdress that if we want to, or we can go ahead and click remove. If we go to settings, another new feature that we have is hide unused fader pages. So now by default, if you've got pages that don't have any fixtures patched on them, or you've got playback pages with no playbacks on them, you won't be able to get to those pages. You will only be able to access the pages with items on them. If you want to access all pages, you can come in here and disable it, or in fact, you can just have it so that only your channel faders the empty pages are being hidden. As well as that, we have lots of improvements to macros as well. So if I exit setup and go to our console front panel view, um, if I go to the macros window here, we're now going to see different tabs appearing um, dependent on the fixtures that we have selected. So if I go and select a fixture, we'll see a tab for that particular fixture type, and we'll see all of the macros relevant to that. On the full size flex here, um, we also have got lots of improvements to user macros, the ability to record press and hold of buttons um, and other nice improvements like that. There are various other improvements that we've got as well. So your chase LEDs, if you've got a chase on a playback fader, um, the chase LEDs will now flash in time to the chase. 
There are improvements to using Xeros Wing with FlexS, um, further improvements to color mixing, um, improvements to ArtNet and RigSync, and also various MIDI improvements as well. So go ahead, download 7.14 from the website, get it installed, and if you've got any questions at all, please just head to the Very Light support page. Thank you.